If you guys think I would let my home that we put millions and millions of dollars into go for $257,000, you're an idiot, okay? For real. So what are you gonna do, haters, when I'm here for Christmas and I'm here for my birthday in May and I'm here for all these amazing dates? I'm here until I wanna move out, until I decide I don't wanna live here anymore. So enjoy the view, haters, because you're gonna be seeing it for quite some time. Welcome to my channel, Clark the Realtor. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. What's going on y'all? My name is Devon Clark, National Licensed Realtor. And today we are going to get into the topic of Kim and Corey Beerman in regards to their foreclosure. But before we jump into this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and also put your notifications on to be alerted when new videos get uploaded to the channel. And let's go. If you guys think I would let my home that we put millions and millions of dollars into go for $257,000, you're an idiot, okay? For real. So what are you gonna do haters when I'm here for Christmas and I'm here for my birthday in May? and I'm here for all these amazing dates. I'm here until I want to move out, until I decide I don't want to live here anymore. So enjoy the view, haters, because you're going to be seeing it for quite some time. So as you guys heard, Kim said she was not going anywhere until she was ready to go and that she wasn't in foreclosure. Not in this video did she say that, but in prior videos she had came out and she said that they were not in foreclosure. And then she said, would you think she would let her home go for X amount of dollars? So as you guys can see on my screen, they have been in foreclosure since October 6, 2022. We are in November of 2023. That's approximately a year that they have been in foreclosure. And right here it says notice of sale under power. The category is mortgage foreclosure. So they have been in mortgage foreclosure for over a year, but for some way, somehow, they have been able to prolong the foreclosure process. And typically that happens, but with this first foreclosure, it looks like it was on another lien. So they had a second mortgage against the house. So it wasn't the primary mortgage. So that's the reason probably why they were able to stay in the property for so long. And um, so we're gonna go through this first mortgage lien that they had that they had against their property and why they got foreclosed on this one. And then we're gonna go to why they are finally actually selling the property because the first primary lien is up for foreclosure as well. So let's read this real quick. It says Georgia Fulton County right here, and that is the county in which they live in. Um, under the virtue of power of sale contained in a security deed given by Corey Evan Berman and Kim Zoziak Berman to Landmark Community Bank, dated December 9th, 2013, recorded in deed X, Y, and Z, page X, Y, and Z, Fulton County, Georgia Records, as modified by the certain loan modification agreement recorded in deed book X, Y, and Z, page X, Y, and Z, Fulton County, Georgia Records, conveying that after described property to secure a note in the original principal amount of a hundred, three hundred, sorry, thousand dollars with an interest thereon as set forth therein, there will be sold at public outcry to the highest bidder for the cash before the courthouse step, courthouse door on Fulton County, Georgia. So if you guys don't know, down here in Georgia, you can, uh, when properties go to auction, they go to our courthouse steps, which is located downtown in Atlanta, and you can only purchase said property with cash or a cashier's check. So you cannot go there and buy the property with a credit card, so we're not going to read this whole article, but as you guys can see, this is where the foreclosure process started. And then we come up here and this is when it hits the first primary mortgage. All right. So let's get into why they're why they are selling now, because this is when it finally hit the primary mortgage. The second mortgage, they were able to kind of cruise by because what happens is that if it goes to the courthouse steps in regards to the second mortgage, somebody can go and buy the second mortgage, but the second mortgage is behind the first mortgage. So just because you buy the second mortgage, you now owe, basically you paid off their debt per se with that mortgage, but you don't get the home because they still have in place that first mortgage. So this is when the first mortgage uh, foreclosure process finally hit, which was February 8th, 2023. And then right here, as you guys can see, February 8th, 2023. And this is the notice of foreclosure sale under power. Again, the category is mortgage foreclosure foreclosures. And this is when it finally hits. So I won't read the whole thing because we read the whole thing kind of with the first primary or the first, sorry, secondary mortgage, but we'll go through the basic things in this particular public notes right here. It says, Croy, E. Berman and Kimberly M. Berman to SunTrust 
Mortgage. So SunTrust Mortgage is their first primary mortgage company. And uh, they recorded it with the deed X, Y, and Z, as we know already. And it says in the amount of $1,650,000. Right here, it says November 1st, 2023. And then this is the same information that we just read prior. And it says right here that it will go for of sale on November 7th, 2023, the file and described property. So now that we know that they have been actually in foreclosure since October of 2022. So when Kim came out and said this information, I don't know why she didn't realize that this is public notice and public information that anybody can find that their property was in foreclosure. But she knew that the first foreclosure notice was in regards to a second mortgage and not a first mortgage. So she wasn't going anywhere. All right. So let's just dig into where this all started. So right here, if you guys can see on my screen, the, initially, this particular property that they bought was a foreclosure. So that's kind of ironic, right? It foreclosed in October October 4th, 2011, right here. It foreclosed the original owner. It looks like from my end, it was a corporation who basically was building the property or something of that matters. And basically, they foreclosed on the property in 2011. If you know more information in regards to this, please put it below in the comments. And so it, before it foreclosed, it looked like that owner was trying to sell the property and it didn't, they weren't, they weren't able to sell it. I'm not going to go down because I don't want to put that owner on blast. So you won't be able to see them trying to sell it, but it looks like they tried to sell it prior. It wasn't selling. And so what ended up happening is that, of course, it foreclosed and then the bank took over the um, foreclosure property. So what happens when stuff forecloses, if you guys don't know, it goes, it reverts back to the bank and becomes an REO property, which means it's real estate owned by the bank. So it went back to the bank and it set on the market from November 11, 2011, where they tried to sell it at $1.989 million. And then they brought it down in February 9th, 2012 to $1 million. And then in 20, October 23rd, 2012, it set on the market at 999, 900,000. So the bank kept kind of put, bringing the price down a little bit, trying to get this property sold because this is a debt on them if they don't get it sold and they didn't want this on their books. So right here, it says in October 23rd, 2012, it sold for $880,000. And so this is what kind of makes me uh, feel like why is there a loan against their property for $1.6 million if they bought it literally in 2023, uh, I mean, sorry, in October 23, 2012 for $880,000, it says that they bought it. Again, maybe the um, information here might be a little off, so I'm not sure why they owe that much. I don't know if they took out, because it says that they have a mortgage on it. So I don't know if they bought it with cash, but then they went to the bank and basically decided to put a lien against their property by getting a mortgage because they need some type of uh, money to help finance their lifestyle. I'm not sure because it just makes no sense in regards to them buying it uh, for cash and then turning around and putting a mortgage on the property. But again, if you guys don't know, when you buy houses like this at this price point, your taxes are very high. So maybe it could be that they put a mortgage on it to pay their taxes every year. I I'm not sure. Uh, but let's get into now. So we went from there and now I want to kind of jump into where you guys can see where they bought it in cash because you're probably like, well, how do you know they bought it in cash? It doesn't state there that they bought it in cash. I'm going to show you where it says that they bought it in cash. And that's why I'm kind of perplexed in regards to why would you buy said property for cash and then turn around and put a mortgage on the property. So again, if you have more information, information or details in regards to this, put it below. I'm just a realtor. I'm not a lender. Uh, I'm not a mortgageor, or I'm not, a, and I'm not an auctioneer. So I don't know, or a lawyer. So I don't know all the details. I'm just a realtor that has access to this information, and you as well have access. It's for the public to see. But um, right here, it states right here they listed for nine hundred and ninety nine right here and then it says they sold it right here for 880,000 and it said it, they got closing costs of $450 and then I'm gonna scroll down here because I don't want to be too much in their business right here it says they bought it with cash so if they bought it with cash again why is there a mortgage on the property um so let's get out of this real quick and let's go over to the last little details I kind of want to jump into so if you guys don't know 
well, you guys do know actually that they are currently in foreclosure. The house is now put back up on the market. So now I'm gonna show you guys the house. Uh, it's a beautiful house. They put it back up on the market just recently uh, in October, I believe, for sale for $6 million. So the house is up on the market now for $6 million. It is for sale. And uh, I guess Kim said she wasn't gonna leave until she was ready to leave. So I guess she's ready to leave y'all. And she said she's leaving on her terms. But uh, so this is the house. Um, let me make sure you guys can see it because I'm seeing it on my end. I just want to make sure you guys can see it. So this is the house. It's a beautiful, beautiful house. They have the agent over the house is selling it, like I said, right here. They're selling it for $6 million. It's a seven bedroom, 11 baths, 15,694 square feet. It was built in 2008 and it has been listed on the market since October 16, 2023. So it's only been on the market. This right here, DOM means days on market. It's only been on the market for 19 days. And um, it's a, like I said, it's a gorgeous house. Let's go scroll through the rest of the pictures. You can also, if you want to see this house and more um, over and over again, or you want to see it more the pictures, or you want to, you know, kind of really get into the details of the, of the beautiful this beautiful house, you can always go to Zillow. It's on Zillow. Their house is uh, is for sale, so it's public to everyone to actually view it and check it out. But as you can see, look at this wonderful, this pool. Look how gorgeous this pool is. This pool right here, the jacuzzi right here. This is gorgeous. Um, and wait till you see, look at this, the inside of the house. Um, she had, they have like a little um, bar room with the popcorn, popcorn machine over here. This is beautiful. Look at the um, the industrial wood paneling on the ceilings. The it looks like some type of brick walling right here, or stone. I should say stone wall. Not sure if that's real stone or if that's just a fake stone, but it's beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Look how beautiful this house is. They have a. I believe this is their basketball court right here as well. Um, so this is a beautiful house, you guys, and I can understand why she was saying she not going nowhere until she's ready to go. This movie room, they have a movie studio, they have like a game room, you see like right here with Miss Pac-Man, all this stuff. So this is a, a fitness center because you guys know Croy used to be an athlete. So you have like the little uh, machine right here for him to get in after working out. You have like an ice bath looking thing right here, a jacuzzi or something right here in regards to probably for like his legs and everything. They're on the lake, like she stated. I believe in the video she said, it was another video she did where she said she was on the lake. I can't find that video. I was trying to find that video. That was more of her kind of walking through the house. So you got to see it, got to see it at first hand. They have a massage place where they go and get mas a masseuse comes and massages them. Um, but this is a beautiful, beautiful house. So like I said, I wouldn't want to leave this house either. Look at this house. But um, so their house is up for sale. Like I said, it, got, it went up on the market October 16th. They are selling the house. And if you guys want to see more in regards to the pictures, you can always go to Zillow and check out the house. There are about 74 pictures, I believe, or 69 pictures that the agent took to represent the property. So that is a little bit in regards to Kim and Croy's situation. If you want to know more information about it, you can always reach out to me. If you guys don't know, again, my name is Devon Clark. I am a national licensed realtor. However, I am local to the state of Georgia and I have actually helped people in foreclosure sales. That is why I wanted to come and break this down because I do know a little bit about foreclosures and I help clients around foreclosure sales. So that's what made me kind of jump on here. I know I'm late to the gun, but that's why I jumped on here to talk about this particular situation. Again, my name is Devon Clark. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the video and put your notifications on whenever we drop a new video on this channel. And I hope to see you around. Take care. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.